Welcome to the NEMA Testing Tips video series. After watching this video, you should understand what types of foods can cause test errors and how to help prevent them. Now, let's walk through some scenarios. Hard or dense foods could make it difficult to close the capsule, could damage the NEMA, or could potentially clog the test. Uncooked pasta is really hard and can make it difficult to close the capsule or could even break it. By cooking it, you'll soften it enough to make it easy to test. The same thing goes for frozen foods. Make sure you defrost them to make it easy enough to test. Other hard foods are uncooked beans, charcoal meat, or hard candies. Remember, if it's not easy to chew, it'll be difficult to test. NEMA can have a difficult time getting a correct test result from foods that are really brightly colored. Like this vegetable juice that contains beets. Yum. For foods like this, try to take a very small sample or dilute it before testing. Just put a small amount of the juice in the capsule and add a drop of water. Now the brightness won't be a factor and NEMA can easily read the result. Some other examples include bright green shakes and foods that contain a lot of food coloring like frosting. Foods that are extremely gummy or contain a large amount of xanthum or guar gum are prone to clogging. This is a jelly bean. To test this, you would cut or rip it in half and then squish it to make sure that the test runs correctly. In addition to gummy foods, thick foods like honey, oatmeal, or foods that are high in fat like ice cream can be prone to clogging and should be tested in really small samples like these. In order to test fine particles like those in ground spices or baking flours, make sure that you use a small sample. We recommend an eighth of a teaspoon and you can mix it with a little water to make sure that the test goes well. To summarize, just remember these tips. If it's difficult to chew, it's difficult to test. Samples should be pea-sized or errors may be on the rise. When in doubt, take some out. We hope you found these tips and tricks helpful. Happy testing.